let's go to work. Just want to say a big thanks uh, to everyone that's subscribed to the channel and given lots of feedback and comments. It's all um, fantastic, so thank you so much. Multimeters on testing stuff, heating and that, we're testing immersion heaters. But this is the same principle. It's uh, an element out of a cooker. You're gonna see a video if you watch it uh, where I test this on site and uh, replace it. In this particular case, I've got a cheap uh, 40 pound fluke, a multimeter. This is the one that I use. The element looks in okay condition to some degree. So essentially, you've got one element that goes all the way around the outside and then you've got a central one that does this section here. In this particular oven, to use the grill, you would turn both of these on. It was only heating up on the outside element. So, fluke meter, the first setting on here is voltage AC. The next one is DC, direct current. AC is alternating current, which is from the socket, um, plugs, etc, etc. I'm not gonna get into every setting on here, but what we're gonna use today is the ohm settings, which is the resistance that something produces. We'll do two, we'll do ohms and buzzer. Buzzer is to check for continuity. Test this, we would take the circuit, and clearly it's outer ones, and we'd put, it doesn't matter which way you put this either, there's no right or wrong like that. As long as it's on ohms, and you stick one on there, and one on there, and you should have a reading. The reading get correlates to the uh, wattage of the element. On the video I show that it's within tolerance. I think the new one is 30, um, 35. Then we test the inner one. And the inner one is showing here 21.7. Now, I do remember when I tested this that this actually proved to be open line on when I checked it. Uh, and it's not surprising it would be open line. It's pretty much completely knackered there. Uh, the outer one is 40. Uh, if you ever get a, ta a time when you can test something against something else as a reference, always check the other. Um, it's just the easier way of doing it. Sometimes you'll have a reading and you'll be unsure about it. If we put it onto buzzer, continuity. So on the outer one, you've got continuity from one side all the way to the other. And if we check the inner one, we don't. It's got an open line. An open line is where almost the wire has been cut. This rod has ceramic around it. And the idea of the ceramic is to shield the inner core so that it doesn't earth out. Continuity. There should never be continuity between these two points. No. If you were doing a test and you knew that you had continuity across there and you checked here, there should be continuity through that. So that's a fault. Yeah, The element has got a cut in it. And clearly you can see here there's a cut in it. There's clearly a cut in it. <laughs> I mean, how much more of a cut can you get than that? Yeah. And put it back to resistance, We've got 39. If we check here, now that to me is bizarre. Now if you were completely blindfolded of this and you check that, some may say, oh, I think that might be okay. From 34 to 24, 39 or whatever it was to 24, and if that was a bit higher, maybe even more so. Well, straight away, there you go. You can see from the earth point to there, you've still got a resistance. Now that just goes to show you that there's a leak somehow between this core and this point here. Yeah, now let's try the other side. There you go, there's another leak. Now what do you think before I do it? If you go from there, nothing, okay? So that proves to you that this one is completely shielded. This one here, the same thing, yeah? Nothing, yeah? This one, there you go, you've got a resistance. So it's leaking through the core. That's what the issue was. So even though you've got a break on it, and it should be open line, it's still creeping through this and going to this shield. In conclusion, you do two different tests. You do your resistance, yeah, and get a reading. 
check the other one, hot water cylinder, you would check the top element and then check the bottom element. And if they correlated to be somewhere close, then you would put it onto buzzer, continuity, check that. And if that was through, no problem. If here it was open line, you would assume that that second element was faulty. So it's just a brief way of, of how I test things. And in this particular case, when I initially tested this, it showed open line on this circuit here. So I was happy to change it. When I took it out, I noticed this bit here. I couldn't see it. Um, so, but that's how I test things. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support. So you can see the, the difference, clearly it's exactly the same as an immersion heater or the like, so we'll test it now. Ok, so here's a reading of the new one on the outer, 38, on the inner, 35, the outer on the old, 39, inner, open line, there's your fault.